Hey everybody, it's Dalton. Uh, a few weeks ago I did a video on Texas rigging a worm. And uh, I remember when I was younger, I had a, you know, everybody had a six foot rod. That was the thing. And I remember how much I enjoyed worm fishing with a shorter rod. So I did some shopping around, I looked for a six and a half, didn't find anything I was happy with. And I picked up this one. This one's six foot eight, plenty short enough. It's Nokuma EVX medium heavy action rod. What I like about this is it's got a moderate fast tip, which gives me more parabolic bend for casts, yet it's got good backbone, medium heavy, for hook sets on a worm. Now the reel I use, it's a 7.5 to 1 loose speed spool. Now here's the key for me when it comes to worm fishing, okay? This is a five, you know, a five inch Yamamoto Senko. It is my favorite for Texas rigging. Uh, this one here is green pumpkin, but it also has some bright, some bright uh, green and purple colors in it. The weight I use the most is going to be an eight ounce, eighth ounce, but I use a thirty second, and I'll also go up to a quarter, but I don't really like going past a quarter. And generally, I peg it. I don't fish this much in open water. When I'm Texas rigging, I'm not far away from where I'm fishing. That's why a short rod really works. The thing I like about a short rod you get more accurate casts. They're just better. This rod's got a good feel. Part of what gives it a good feel is that braided line. I'm using a 30 pound suffix 832. And what I do is I take about five to six feet of a fluorocarbon leader. Now my favorite fluorocarbon is Seaguar and Vizix, and this is 15 pound test. My favorite knot for this, and there's all kinds of knots. Let me tell you one knot I can't stand, the FG knot. I don't want anything to do with that knot. You gotta have, you know, line here, and it's almost like you have to be an acrobat to even tie that stupid thing. So what I do is I tie an RP knot, which is a Royal Polaris. It's a simple knot to tie, plenty strong enough, works its, uh, its way through standard eye guides, and I have no problem with it at all. If you wanna know how to tie that, uh, uh, Brent Ayler, who's a MLF fisherman, he's got a video on YouTube on how to tie this. A lot of guys use it, plenty strong enough. So I use about a five to a six foot leader. And that's my basic worm setup. And I really like this a lot. Now there's a lot of other plastics you can throw with this. So I'm gonna have my wife follow me up here. A number of things that I'll throw, Texas rig, are these little beaver, beetle type baits. I'll take a fluke, Texas rig it and throw it in the cover. I'll take stuff like, I don't know what that is, looks like a polywog. But one of my, my favorite ones, and I can use the exact same hook, is uh, this is called a Strike King Rage Craw, okay? I love the look at this. This is a little watermelon red flake. You can see the little craws super good for Texas rigging and throwing in cover. Like I say, when I'm Texas rigging, I'm not very far away from where I'm throwing. I don't throw it in open water, so I'm looking for docks, rocks, vegetation, but particularly when I'm fishing this, I'm looking for what I call ambush points. Largemouth bass are notorious for ambush points. You see a shoreline, it's got a lot of vegetation, comes out in a little point, that's a good place to fish. Has a little cut, good place to fish. You see a pile of rocks, you see a dock all by itself. These are places where bass ambush. That's specifically when I like to throw this worm. So I got this set up. I really like it a lot. I've already used it. It casts real well. It's super duper light. I wanted to introduce it to you. Everybody's got their favorite rod and reel uh, lineup. There was a day that you would not catch me without a Shimano reel. Over the years, I've really, for whatever reason, I just started liking the lose reels better for me. And I really like these Okuma EVX. My wife and I use them in spinning rods. I decided to get one in a bait caster. I wanted this short rod, and it is excellent for worm fishing. I want to share this with you because if you're looking for a good worm rod for Texas rigging or Texas rigging other things, a shorter rod a lot of times will work a lot better because you can get more pinpoint casts. Well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. I just wanted to go over this with you. Happy fishing. We'll talk to you soon.